Hey everyone, in this quick video, I wanted to show you how to set up your Sennheiser Loft. So if you have a Sennheiser Lavalier G3 or G4, this is the right video. This is gonna be super quick just to set it up if you're on a shoot, for example. If you want a more complete tutorial, check out the link in the description for that. So you have your transmitter. This is the one where the mic pack is connected to. And then you have your receiver, which is gonna go right into your camera with the provided XLR or with the mini eighth inch. So depending on your camera, DSLRs will take this cable, but if you want the XLR, if you have an XLR connection, use this. But let's go ahead and set it up. We're gonna open each one up right here. There's two releases on the side. Go ahead and open those and hold on and off just for a few seconds, about three seconds, we'll turn it on. So this is gonna turn on the transmitter. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the receiver. This is just simply step one, and then I'll show you what to set right after that. So now the next step is right here on your receiver pack, this is the one with the XLR connection, press set, then go down in the menu to easy setup, then press set again, and what we want to do is when we show up to a new location, we want to scan a new list. This is going to show us all the available frequencies that are available at that location. So in this case of this lav, it's the A set, so it goes from 516 to 558. Depending on your lav, it might be a different set, but it doesn't matter. Let it the scan complete. It takes about a minute, and then you'll have some frequencies to choose from. I'm going to let this complete. Okay, once the scan is complete, you'll see different banks and under each bank, how many channels are free. So let me go ahead and scroll through the different banks. As you could see, because I'm in the suburbs here, there's a lot of different free channels under the different banks. So as I go through, you'll see the different banks. Just choose one, it doesn't matter which one. So let's say I'm on bank one, I'll press set, and then it will set me on the different channel here that are free, so I could choose one. So 1.2, for example, and I could press set. So now, 518.700, that's my frequency. Now I'll have to jump in right here to my transmitter, go to set, and then I'll go down again here, and I'll have to change my frequency preset. So I'll go to frequency preset, and I'll remember the last one was 1.2, so I'll set one and 0.2, and now my frequency is set between my transmitter and receiver. 518.700, so now I'm all set there. Two other things you gotta check. Make sure you do a test now when you have that set up so you could go ahead and do a test. I'm actually wearing this lob right now, it's going to the camera. But next, you wanna press set again on where the lob is connected to your transmitter here and you wanna go to sensitivity. Now this is a personal preference, but let me show you what I like to use and then you could kinda test it out, but if you're in a rush, go to sensitivity. Typically, I like to be at about a negative 27 or negative 24 dB. That really minimizes the noise around you. The higher you go, the louder the volume, but usually 27 is where I like to be. And one more thing you gotta set now on your receiver. On your receiver, go ahead and press set. We did the easy setup. Now we have our sensitivity set. We just have to make sure our AF out is set. Again, my preference here is negative 18, but the higher you go, the louder it's gonna be. So you could go even plus 12, or you could go all the way down to negative 30, but typically negative 18 with the negative 27 sensitivity is where I like to be between both devices. And that's pretty much all you will have to do for a quick start. Easy setup, sensitivity is set, which is never gonna change again once you set it up, and the AF out is set to negative 18, for example, in this case. Between those two, I get a really good volume, and on my camera, I have this set to the mic level, not the line level. That will be the last one you have to check to make sure you have a good sound, and usually around five or six, is where I get a good signal on my camera. And make sure phantom power on your microphone, on your camera, the phantom power switch is not on. So you're just on line or mic, in mic in this case with this setup. But no phantom power, that might create some issues for you. So that's the quick overview of the Sennheiser G3 and G4 wireless microphone setup. For a complete tutorial, check out the other video when you have more time. That's a more complete where I talk about all these different things, more advanced microphones where you could take out the basic one and change it with that one, but this was gonna be a quick overview for if you're on a shoot and you wanted a quick setup. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for daily filmmaking tutorials, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.